Hey guys, Matt Riley here with New Home Inc. And I am excited to share with you the Apex plan. And this particular Apex features our Georgian elevation with double stacked front porch. It is amazing. It is roughly 2,800 square feet, four bedrooms with a first floor guest suite. And it is packed full of awesome. Let's go check it out. All right, guys, welcome to the Apex. First off, you're gonna notice we have a giant, gorgeous full front porch on this house. But the second thing you're gonna notice is something you probably have never seen. And that is our Smart Door Delivery Center. And you might ask, what the heck is a Smart Door Delivery Center? Well, the Smart Door Delivery Center is exactly what you might think it is when we talk about delivering packages. It is a safe and secure way to have your packages, groceries, perishables, all delivered, all behind the protection of your home. But how it works is you're gonna have two front doors on this particular home, actually. You're gonna have two front doors where the exterior door has a smart lock, so your favorite package delivery person or grocery delivery person is gonna be able to get access that you give them into this door, into a heated and cooled space inside. There's a second front door that has another smart lock on it that they would not have access to that keeps your packages and your home safe and secure for package and grocery delivery. So let's go take a look. All right, guys, we are inside the foyer of the Apex plan. And what you're gonna to see to my left is you're gonna see the inside of the Smart Door Delivery Center. To my right, you're gonna see the spacious flex area on the main floor. The way this particular home is set up, this is set up to show this as one large office, but you also have the option to convert one large office by bumping the front wall forward four feet and creating two specific offices on the main floor. Welcome to the heart of the Apex. This is the big room where we're gonna have the meeting of the family room, the cafe, the large kitchen, and what we call our messy kitchen behind us, right? So let me talk you through what we're looking at. So first off, one of the things that we know from all the research and kind of that post COVID life is the kitchen has always been the center of the home. But what it didn't have is it didn't have conversational seating at the kitchen island. So one of the things that we've done in the Apex is we created a three-sided seating island. So you're going to be able to seat people around three sides of a four-sided island instead of just all the chairs being in front facing one direction, having a much more conversational area. So an island of this magnitude, you're going to be able to seat about six people at this kitchen island. And then to the right, you're actually gonna, this is where the cafe area extends out and bumps out the back of the house. It's a huge space seating for at least eight. So now we have 12 to 14 people being able to be seated and eating comfortably in a, a warm, welcoming, open area. And then on the other side behind me, what we actually have is our messy kitchen. And what is a messy kitchen? Well, the messy kitchen is an area for you to take your mess from the main kitchen and move it to the secondary kitchen. It's specialized for areas like additional prep. There's a sink back there. There's areas for additional secondary dishwashers, wine fridges, ice makers. Um, but also those pesky small appliances that we use every single day, but clutter up the kitchen itself. Coffee makers, toasters, blenders, Instapots, all the stuff that we used to make all that sourdough bread with at home, we can now actually keep that in the messy kitchen while keeping our primary kitchen area nice, tidy, and clean. All right, and as we go from the kitchen, we spill over into the large cafe main eating area of the home itself. And because at New Home Inc., we've done away with all of the old, unusable ways of living in a home, for instance, no more formal dining rooms, we've reappropriated that space into a much more usable area. Hence, a large cafe directly off the kitchen that's perfect for entertaining large groups and still having an intimate setting because it ties directly into the main kitchen area itself and the large, oversized, three-sided seated island. All right, guys, I am in the family room, which completes the large open concept area tying all of these rooms together, right? So we're large, large family room, oversized kitchen, and huge cafe off the back, all perfect for entertaining friends, family, or just hanging out together on the couch. 
Okay guys, as we're coming in from the garage area, we come into the mudroom and drop zone area. To my left, we have a large bench and cubbies area, perfect for coats, hats, backpacks, and shoes, to keep everything nice and tidy. On the other side of me, what we have is we have an area that is dedicated for an additional closet, but how this home is finished is we gave it an additional drop zone area for additional area for hanging shoes and cubbies. And as we come through the mudroom area, we actually come into the first floor guest suite and first floor full bath. Okay guys, that's a wrap for the first floor. Let's go take a look at the layout of the upstairs of the Apex plan. Let's go. All right guys, welcome to the second floor of the Apex. And what we're seeing right now is the absolutely huge loft space area. Now, what's really cool and flexible about this space is we can convert this space into an additional bedroom and full bath, or we can actually make this room larger. And the reason we would make this room larger is if you remember on the first floor when we were talking about the office and creating that into two separate offices, we bumped that wall forward a roughly four feet. Well, we're directly above that office, so that front wall here also gets pushed out, creating a larger area upstairs as well. But what's really cool and unique about this particular home and its elevation, the Georgian elevation, it comes with that double stacked front porch. So let's go take a look at how cool and useful that space is and how you can access it directly from this loft. And welcome to the second floor full front porch. And welcome to the massive owner suite of the Apex that has tons of full-size windows and natural light. And in the owner's bath of the Apex, we have several different unique options to choose from here. The way this particular home is set up is we have tile floor, tile walls, tile bench, and a unique glass wrap around this corner to really keep the bathroom open when you walk in. You get a great view of all the beautiful tile work that's done, um, and it really keeps it nice and bright and less walls sticking out. But some of the other options that you have in this particular bathroom is you have a separate tub and shower option that you can do. So if you're a tub person, we can get a tub in here. But the other unique feature is what we call our super shower option. And our super shower option takes this entire space, including the linen closet, and converts it into one giant shower with additional rain heads and dedicated drying area. So it is a really cool, unique options that you can choose from in the, in the owner's bath here. And the other unique features that we have in the Apex owner's bath is the closet scenario. So what we have is we have two split vanities, but we also have a linen closet here that's an option as well as a direct connection to the laundry room from the owner's bath. But what this isn't just a normal linen closet if you choose the linen closet, it is a double loaded linen closet, which means that we have shelves in between here and you can get your linens from the bathroom. And because this connects directly to the laundry room, we can load the linen closet directly from the laundry room. If you want to have the direct laundry room connection, this area goes away. Obviously there are no shelves and you have one direct door connection to walk straight into the laundry room. All right guys, and now since we just talked about the double loaded linen closet from the owner's bath, I wanted to show you the laundry room of the Apex. This isn't just a laundry closet, it's a workable laundry room. So we have our washer and dryer connections. In this particular home, we also added the laundry tub sink, so we have space for that. But I mentioned the double loaded linen closet. This is where we would access that double loaded linen closet. So when I open this door, we can see the shelves from the other side from what we just saw in the owner's bath. But again, if you didn't want this closet, all of this goes away and you have a direct clean access straight into the owner's bath. But the tour is not over in the laundry room. What we also have is we also have a dedicated area over here that's perfect for hampers, laundry, folding stations, ironing boards, steamers, anything like that. You have an area over here that you can actually work in your laundry room and you don't have to leave dirty clothes, ironing boards out in hallways and lofts. You actually have a functional, usable room for laundry. 
All right, guys, and as we come out of the laundry room, we're in the hallway area entering where our guest beds and baths are. And I wanted to point out a couple of things. One is we see that there's a closet area here and it's very specifically located. And the reason is, is because most builders would leave this area open because it's just less materials. It's gonna make the loft feel and the hallway feel a little larger, but it's actually all completely dead, non-usable space, right? So what we did is we put the closet here because A, who doesn't, who doesn't love extra closet space? But the, the other thing that it does is it actually creates additional privacy for our guest bedrooms and guest baths. So we kind of get that really big bang for our buck with just an additional closet. These are just some of the features that we really try to think through about how you live in your home. All right, guys, we are in one of the guest rooms here in the Apex, and I wanted to call out a couple of features that we really try to pay attention to that affects the way we live in our home. And if we take a look at this wall to the side of us, we see a closet and most people think it's just a closet, so what? But reality is if you look, this clo these closet doors are not centered on this wall. We do that intentionally, that wasn't a mistake. What we do is we asymmetrically load these closet doors off to one side to make furniture placement better. For instance, in this particular room, this wall is our bed wall. And if we have a full or a queen size bed in this room and we put a nightstand over here, because we've loaded these doors off to one side, we can put the nightstand there and still have full access and full door swing to our closets. This is something that you would never notice until you actually moved in, placed your furniture, and realized that you can't open your door all the way. Okay, and I wanna talk a little bit about our Healthy Homes program and our indoor air quality. And from an energy efficiency perspective, we do a few things that are a little different that I wanted to point out. So if you look above our secondary bedrooms and rooms entrances, you'll see pass-through vents above those doors. The purpose of that is to help keep air moving from the hallway and the bedrooms, no matter if the door is in the open position or the closed position. We've all been in a home where you walk into a bedroom and it's warmer or cooler than other areas of the home, especially if that door gets left closed often. That's because the air is not moving through that room enough to help balance the temperature between the other rooms in the house and that bedroom. So having that open active pass-through vent above the doors helps us accomplish that no matter if the doors are in the open or closed position. But if you notice in the owner suite, we actually don't put that open active pass-through above the door. What we do is we put a jump duct in the ceiling. It serves the same purpose and it keeps the air circulating and flowing through the bedroom, whether the door is open or closed, but it doesn't have that active pass-through um, and it helps keep a little bit more privacy to the owner's bedroom itself. And since we're talking about indoor air quality, I wanna talk about our whole home filtration system. And most homes, just like this one, it has a cold air return or a fresh air return. And that's where you're gonna put your typical everyday filter that you change out once a month that every home has, but not our homes. We use a whole home filtration system. It goes at the HVAC system itself. You change it out once a year. It's called a MERV filter. It helps filter out a load of different things from the air. You can actually visit another page on our website, our Healthy Homes page, to actually see all the ins and outs of that. But it's a specially designed HVAC system that uses that whole home filtration to give us better indoor air quality, as well as intentionally bringing fresh air from the outside in and filtering out and, and circulating fresh air through the inside of the house and not consistently recirculating stale air that's already in the home itself. Our smart home package consists of a brilliant light switch, a Ring Pro video doorbell, a smart lock, a Wi-Fi thermostat, a network panel centralized on the first floor with Cat6 Ethernet, a Wi-Fi garage door opener, and an electric vehicle charging rough-in in the garage. All right, guys, and that concludes the tour of the Apex Plan. Thank you so much for joining me. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out, go to our website, call, click, text, anything you need, let us know.